Hey, what's up? It's your boy Prince back with another video. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to show you guys how to shape your beret. Um, in phase one, they will give you your, your little, they'll give you the basic way of shaping your beret. And as you go on throughout your career, military career, you start to get your own style and whatever, however you want to go about doing your beret, you can reshape it, whatever. But yeah, I'm just going to show you just a basic tip, really. So refresh your memory uh, for those who are going into training just to give you a pre um, knowledge of how it's done so when you get there you're not lost yeah so this is how your bird comes comes with it's a basic way you can see it looks like a um, navy beret <laughs> yeah no shape um, so i'm show you how it's done so first you're gonna just adjust this to suit it's somewhat of a, like a this is like more of a I also got the veins popping, bro. Jim, bro. Really, nigga? This knot, yeah, and you can adjust it to suit. So once you found your fit, you test it. Make sure it fits around your head. I have a big head. So you see how this is? Looks like if I'm gonna march for like the police forces. <laughs> but yeah, so this is just how it cut, how it fits. So what you usually have to do, yeah. You always bring a flap to the right side of your head so this is how you start shaping your beret to the right side of your head like this so your beret should look something this is just a pre look of it of how it should look so once you've gotten this the size on your head you can just tighten this off and some people cut this off uh, I burn it so that it sticks because right, you don't need this to be showing the back of your head so you can snip this off to stop it from actually like fraying out you can just burn the ends <laughs> now you're gonna get to the actual process of shaping your beret right so definitely you're gonna need a shaver shaver that you don't use because you don't want to shape your beret with a shaver and then use it as well so you can just get all the lint or whatever the top bit of your beret because as you can tell it's looking really rough on the surface so what the shaver does is the shaver will get rid of all of that so you shave the entire beret 360 everything get it off and for a nice smooth surface all around of your beret so shave it for a good amount of time till you can actually see you know you don't want to shave it too deep and then cut it so yeah you can find a nice garbage bin where you can actually shape all of this stuff off as you can see all the surface bits coming off right here I just did the shaving took a good bit of time just have to take your time with it and um, make it smoother as smooth as possible you can always come, go back and shave it after you've shaped it and all that but just um in the in the initial stages of you shaping a beret make sure that you shave it shave all the lint bit off and residue and whatever on the surface just shave it off yeah so that's my beret already shaved as you can see it looks smoother than before so now we're going to get into the shaping bit and how we're going to do that is you're going to need like hot water, hot and cold water, yeah? Put it in a sink. Make sure that you don't wet these bits. Try not to wet these because I think after you, you uh, after these get wet, the shape looks a bit odd. But soak um, as much as you can of the beret the cloth bit here in water. This rectangular bit that you're seeing right here, this is the part that holds your cap badge this bit goes inside of this and goes right down right so this bit here this back bit goes on the inside uh, let me show you how it's done so you have to make sure you insert a cut here at the top so your cap badge can slide into a holding area inside the beret which is this bit So you cut a hole at the top, then push this inside. 
like so. Yep, you can use a razor and do that. And then you can try it to make sure that it's, see? Goes in easily, all right? Sometimes, you know, you don't want your cap bash to be all the way at the top here. See all of the space? You try to avoid that. What you can do here, a good method is to cut a hole, a hole at the back here, and then just insert the back bit outside so it slides deeper because this bit is kind of shallow, right? So you can see it, it stops the actual pin of the cap badge from going deeper so that it can actually slide down to be more flush across your cap badge should be somewhat across here on your beret not all the way up here so so, yeah, so we are going to cut a hole through this bottom bit see you cut the hole at the back bit so that because this is really long the pin here is really long so it needs to come all the way down so this can actually push down like this okay so it is much more lower than before right cold and hot water you can put it together to just get your water cool and you can just fill this As you soak your beret, it helps to get rid of a lot of the residues from shaving, like all the shaving parts and bits. Um, washing it actually helps get rid of those. Yeah, another suggestion here yeah, is shape your beret. Um, shape, shape your beret with the cap badge inside it gives it a better shape when you're trying to mold it because it's already it would already leave that spot um somewhat already shaped for that cap for the cap badge so when you put it in it looks um really natural and fit really well so once your beret is somewhat semi-wet um uh, one thing that seems wet but you actually have to do it or it's good to do is to actually put it on your head while it's wet and shape it out so this is somewhat half wet. So what I'm gonna do now is put it on. Yeah. So yeah, so once your berry is a little soaked, don't worry, I have a towel at the bottom here, right? Once your berry is a little soaked, you somewhat you can give it like a cringe right there with your hand, bring it forward. And as I said, your cap badge will definitely assist with the shaping. Some people bury they don't have any somewhat it's just smooth so if you want your bury to look somewhat professional um like the captains and <laughs> cheater staff um yeah you can somewhat give it a little cringe like that and then you swoop it to the side like this as you can see the shape is already coming out can you see look at that The shape is already coming out. So all you do is swoop the bit to the right and yeah, just give it a little cringe here. Like you're folding it up a bit at the side while pulling this bit over. Yeah, gives you um, Yeah, see that? And um, basically how to do a basic beret. You see how it was at first and how it's in shape right now. Um, over time, it's gonna adjust to your head. Once you find your right size and you do follow the steps, your beret is gonna look professional. Even in phase one, <laughs> yo, my beret looked a mess in phase one. because. Um, 
But over time, you know, you would try your thing and you'll be like, okay, how can this be done? Um, leave the cap badge in it and all that. Gives it a little bit more shape and everything like that. So yeah, sometimes the shape can go out a bit, especially the ruffles. What you can do is dry it on a, one of the heating vents. You make sure you put it, leave it on your head for a bit. So it's gonna be soaked, a little bit wet, but it's worth it. Leave it on your head for maybe an hour or 30, 30 minutes. And then what you can do is once it's done, take it off and with the shape already made, after you've had it on your head for a while, you put it, hang it up on a heating vent, put it somewhere to dry. Yeah. So sometimes what people do as well, you can put pins inside to keep the ruffles, like put pins inside and all that clip this these bits in shape so when it's dry now you take the pins out and it will keep those ruffles at the side sometimes it dries and keeps the ruffles without the pins and all that but you know you can do your own thing your own fancy stuff all right so i'm going to put this back on for a little bit yeah and the shaving makes this bit as well looks really smooth so when you shave it as you can tell so there's a little bit, little bit more residue and shaving stuff on it all that will come off right so that's basically it how you shape your beret uh, and it's dried it's gonna look really good and in place uh, everybody has their own style so I don't want anybody coming here well you could have done this you could have done that do it how you do it congrats but yes get your beret done um quickly on the day off or a weekend when you can just keep it on your head like this and get it um shaped looking good all right when you put in your berry on make sure that it's right in line with your left eye okay that's just another tip as well staff is not going to be happy training team seeing you with your cat badge at your side here this is a basic well, not really basic this is standard standard way in which you can just do your beret and yep make it look professional ready for your <laughs> ready for your marching ready for your parading and not having a mushroom beret because in phase one the berets were hideous you're gonna see them like some people didn't care how the beret looked they'll just put it on from the package <laughs> so yeah i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe and drop a comment and yeah send me pictures of your beret my instagram so i can just see um how, you, how stylish your berets are and yeah. yeah i'm gonna leave this on my head for a bit might catch a cold <laughs> it's wet but yeah that's what you usually do all the best is crown prince uh, take care. See you guys on the next video.